Okay, hello everyone and welcome to another Looker Studio tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to fix your day trains in Looker Studio. So you want every time you come to your report to cover specific day trains here for your stakeholders. So when they come here, they should see year to date, month to date, quarter to date, whatever you like. I'll tell you exactly how to do this. Before we go there, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance. And here is how to do this. You're going to click on edit your report. You're going to click on your date. And here under the setup column on the right hand side, you're going to fix the default day trains. So for example, here we're going to say that we want, let's say to have this quarter today as a fixed date. And we are going to apply that. So now what we did is a scenario where every time that someone will actually land on this report. So if we refresh, let's say this report, or if you go and you click the link and you come to this report, they will see this quarter to date by default, meaning that this is going to be the default when people land on the report, that's the date range that they are going to see. If they want to change it, of course, they will be able to click here and change the date, but that's the default. Now, you can set the default to anything, right? So you can even fix the default if you want. So you can say here fixed, for example, and you can say, okay, I want when people come to my report to look into the date range from, let's say, January 1st to February 28th. And then you're going to click apply, and now you fixed this as your default date, which means again that whenever someone comes to the report and they land, what they're going to see is the date range that you selected. As a small piece of advice, it makes more sense not to choose fixed as a date. It makes more sense, for example, to still fix your date range. So let's actually click here on edit and fix our date range, meaning we're going to click on it. We're going to come here on the setup column. We're going to choose default date trends. It makes more sense to say, for example, this year to date, or maybe this year or this month to date. So fix it still, but let the system actually to automatically update the dates as the months and the days go by. That's it. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. I have a great day in any time.